This is the quiz for the Bible study written in stone that's found on Amazing Facts website. The answers are found in the 15 questions that we have covered. And I have added the location of the answer in red next to the question. Question 1. The Ten Commandments were written by God, Moses, an unknown person. The correct answer is God. And that's found in question 1 of the lesson. According to the Bible, sin is a personality deficiency, breaking God's law, whatever seems wrong. The answer is question 2, breaking God's law. And that's found in number 2 of the lesson. Question number three. Check the statements that tell the truth about God's law, and there are four possible answers. It is a perfect guide for happy living. That is correct, and that's found in, lesson, in the lesson question number three. Like a mirror, it points out our sin. That's correct. It is burdensome and oppressive. That's incorrect. It can protect me from evil. That is correct. It has the same character as God. That's correct also. It will counsel the it was counseled in the New Testament. That's incorrect. It is a curse. So the four answers for question number three are found in the lesson on number three. Number the question number four. God's Ten Commandment law, and there's one correct answer, was from Old Testament times, was for Old Testament times only, was abolished by Jesus at the cross, is unchangeable. The correct answer is unchangeable, and that's found on question 5 in the lesson. Question number 5. In the judgment day, I will be saved. Let's focus on that. I will be saved if, and there's only one correct answer, I maintain an excellent record of good works. I love the Lord regardless of whether or not I obey the Ten Commandments. My personal love relationship with Jesus leads me to obey all his commandments. The correct answer is my personal love relationship with Jesus leads me to obey all his commandments. And that's found in a lesson in question number four. Uh, question number six. People are saved by, there's one an correct answer, keeping the law, breaking the law, Jesus alone. The correct answer is Jesus alone. And that's found in a lesson on the question number eight. Question number seven, truly converted Christians, and that's one correct answer. Keep God's law through the power of Christ. Ignore the law because it is done away. Consider commandment keeping unnecessary. The correct answer is keep God's law through the power of Christ, and that's found in your lesson under question number 10. Now question number eight, a person living under grace, and there's one correct answer, can break the Ten Commandments without sinning is freed from keeping the law, will gladly keep God's commandments. The correct answer is, will gladly keep God's commandments. And that's found under question number 11 in the lesson. Question number 9. Love fulfills the law because, and there's one possible answer, love does away with the law. True love towards God and people makes keeping the law a joy. Love is more important than obedience. The correct answer is true love towards God and people makes keeping the law a joy. And that's found in the lesson under question number six. Question 10. Moses' law contains the same thing as God's law, the law of ceremonies and sacrifice, which point forward to Christ and ended at the cross, a requirement to keep forever. The correct answer is the law of ceremonies and sacrifice, which pointed to, for, excuse me, which pointed forward to Christ and ended at the cross, and that's found at, found in question thirteen in the lesson. These are the last two questions in the quiz. Question number eleven: People who obey the Ten Commandments are legalists, will be opposed by the devil who hate God and His law, are saved by keeping the law. The answer is, we'll be opposed by the devil who hates God and his law. That's found in the lesson under question 14. Question 12. Check the statements that are true regarding Christ and the law. And there are four correct answers. Jesus broke the law. 
that's incorrect. Jesus is perfect human example of keeping the law. That's correct. Jesus abolished the law. That's incorrect. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's correct. And that's found in uh, the lesson under question 6. And the previous correct answer was found in the, uh, the lesson under question 5. Jesus magnified the law and showed that it covers all sins. That's question 6 in the lesson. Jesus said that the law cannot be changed. And that's found in question 5. So the four correct answers are found in your lesson under question 5 and 6. This is the last question in this um, quiz. And it is not a question that the uh, quiz gives an answer for. It's a question that only you can determine the answer for. Only There's no wrong or right question. It all has to be based on what you believe. So if you do not believe that the law of God is relevant from this study, that you will be judged by this very law, then that's really okay because God is okay with that. It doesn't change the fact of its reality. But God respects all of our wishes. Free will is a powerful thing. So if you still don't believe it, that the law of God is relevant after keep going through this study, then that's okay. No one's mad or upset because God never forces. He loves us all. He created us to love one another. So I pray that you will find the truth of the love of God in his fullness and the wonder of his love for us that he gave his son on the cross. So how can we deny the very essence of who he is because he kept the law perfectly.